What terrifies you? Are you scared of demons or ghosts? Does possession make you uncomfortable? Perhaps body horror is what unnerves you. When thinking about what enemies in Elden Ring were the scariest or most unnerving, there was immediately one that came to mind due to its shocking appearance and unnaturally swift movement. In various areas of the Lands Between, we encounter the Finger Creepers. They come in various shapes and sizes, but no matter the form, they will almost definitely catch you off guard. While their visage is on brand for a world obsessed with fingers, there's very little to be said about their lore until you dig deeper. Today, we're going to explore the mysteries surrounding the Finger Creepers. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of our content. Now, let's begin. The Finger Creepers are grotesque hands that will chase and attack you by skittering across the ground. They drop no weapons, and are best used for farming somber smithing stones. The many fingers coming from the base of the hand itself leads us to believe they have been grafted together by someone, making them man-made creatures. This would make sense as they seem to have no mouths, no bodies to speak of, no need to eat to survive. They will relish in ambushing our tarnished, falling from walls and areas they blend into, or springing to life from the ground below us. They have the ability to cast magic from their ringed finger, so they can attack us at a range, making them not only terrifying, but deadly regardless of your build. They evoke the movement of spiders in the way they scuttle towards our tarnished at high speed. They attack with large, sweeping motions, making it difficult to evade them, and they typically attack in packs, rarely on their own. These enemies could easily be written off as another way to showcase the Lands Between's obsession with fingers, personified as a creepy obstacle for our tarnish to overcome. However, we only find them in very specific areas of the world. The Finger Creepers are only found at Caria Manor, the Carrion Study Hall, Mount Gelmir, the Mountaintop of Giants, Flame Peak, and outside of the cell containing the loathsome Dung Eater. These locations hold the key to unraveling the mystery behind the Finger Creepers, along with the only weapon in Elden Ring that makes any mention of them in its description, the Ringed Finger. The description of this weapon tells us it is a bludgeon made of an enormous finger sheathed in several heavy rings, thought to have been cut from an ancestor of the Finger Creeper. Some life yet remains in this legacy of an ancient act of blasphemy, as evidenced by the barely perceptible warmth it still exudes. This gives us our first lead on the investigation into these creatures' origins, an ancient act of blasphemy. When we talk about blasphemy, the obvious candidate for discussion is Praetor Reichard. After all, he's the lord of blasphemy, and the ringed finger looks as though it could have been cut directly from his hand. This would lead us to believe that all finger creepers are tied directly to Reichard's hands. However, as Zuli the Witch pointed out in her dissection of these creatures, the models of the hands don't match perfectly, and the original weapon description calls out Reichard instead of the finger creepers. So is the answer that these creatures were given a new origin during the continued work on the game? We don't believe so. Rather, the updated description adds context to the overall story of how these terrifying hands came to be. When looking at the various areas that the Finger Creepers can be encountered, we see the idea of Reichard's involvement being reinforced. Carrion Manor and the Carrion Library hold his sister and secrets of his family. It makes sense he'd have made sure there were defenses set up in order to protect Ronnie. The Finger Creepers of Mount Gelmir defend the road to Volcano Manor, Reichard's home. And where better for a Lord of Blasphemy to consolidate power than on the way to the Forge of Giants? The Cauldron needed to perform the ultimate act of blasphemy against the Two Fingers, the burning of the Erd Tree. When it comes to the Finger Creepers outside of Dung Eater's cell, this could be another defensive maneuver by Reichard, the one place he and his extended family see eye to eye 
The seedbed curse is likely going too far, even in the eyes of the Lord of Blasphemy. But while all of these areas show us the connection these enemies have to Reichard, there's another connection that may not be immediately apparent, one directly tied to the giants. We know from the Troll Knight's sword that the trolls were called into service when the Queen invoked an oath they swore. The trolls are treated as true knights of Caria, and fight arm in arm with their human comrades. And when looking at the Sword of Night and Flame, we learn it is the storied sword and treasure of Caria Manor, one of the legendary armaments. Astrologers who preceded the sorcerers established themselves in mountaintops that nearly touched the sky and considered the fire giants their neighbors. So before the war with the giants, it seems Carrion royalty had a strong connection to them. Perhaps the reason that the Finger Creeper's fingers aren't a perfect match to Rikar's is because they were never meant to be. The Finger Creepers aren't discarded hands of the Lord of Blasphemy. They're the hands of the dead giants, grafted together and reanimated by Rikard to do his bidding. This theory perfectly explains why the Ringed Finger would say it was cut from the ancestor of the Finger Creepers. It doesn't mean that the weapon is literally descended from the creatures with no ability to reproduce. It's simply a finger of Rikard's, the man who animated these creatures, making him their ancestor. We believe that through the years, Rikard used his knowledge of blasphemous magics to reanimate the hands of those trolls and giants who fell in the service and friendship of the Carrion royal family. It's also possible that given his knowledge of blasphemous arts, Reichard would have utilized grafting in their creation, explaining the many fingers coming from just one hand. Interestingly, the frozen corpses of giants we find at Flame Peak actually reinforce this theory, as they seem to have had their hands cut off at the wrist. This explains the colossal finger creepers we find there. They were once hands of the largest giants in the lands between, struck down at the height of the war. With this theory in place, we shed light on the history of the Finger Creepers, and even reconcile the rewritten lore of the Ringed Finger. By using the environmental clues around the Finger Creepers themselves, we believe this makes the most sense as to their origins. Reichard has all of the blasphemous knowledge necessary to bring these horrific creatures into existence, and they can be seen as yet another avenue of his army, alongside the Man Serpents and the Recusants of Volcano Manor to help him with his bid for power over the lands between, even if he does seem to utilize them mostly for defense of his own territories. So what do you think of our theory on the mysterious origins of the terrifying finger creepers? Let us know in the comments if you have any theories of your own, or found anything to support our claims that wasn't mentioned in the video. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell to make sure you don't miss out on any of our spooky October lore content. Join us next time when we explore the wildlife left behind in the rotting wasteland that was once the flourishing land of Kaled. We look forward to seeing you again for more Elden Lore.